another doomsday prediction for Democrats. What we saw last night, a young Republican named Myra Flores winning a heavily Hispanic district in South Texas, one that went plus 13 for Joe Biden just about 18 months ago. Policies that are being placed right now are hurting us. Under President Trump, we did not have this mess in this country. The last time the GOP won that district, by the way, 1870, five years after Lincoln was shot in the head by John Wilkes Booth. That was the last time. Just one of many political earthquakes we expect to see over the next six months as a Democrat party that has lost its mind will be Baker acted by the American public. Primary night made for a lovely birthday for Donald Trump as well. A nemesis of the former president got wiped out last night, got embarrassed last night. We're going to speak to Eric Trump on that coming up here in just a couple of minutes. And one more quick headline. Bad news for L.A.'s crime-loving district attorney. The second recall attempt for George Gascone is moving along. The recall campaign sending Newsmax this statement. Today, the recall DA George Gascone campaign announced it has surpassed 566,000 857 signatures, the most signatures ever collected in L.A. County for any petition. This is, we learn, a man suspected of killing two police officers in Los Angeles was out of jail on probation for a gun possession charge. He was let free under George Gascon when he shouldn't have been. Two cops killed in El Monte, California, right there in the L.A. area. Another example of the mayhem in our big blue cities.